people. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Right now we're going to paint a S-crank style bait in a pattern I call Bozo. My buddy told me it looked like a clown, so I called it Bozo. Uh, first, we'll start out by covering the bait and uh, Createx Aluminum, Createx Wicked Aluminum. Alexa, turn on exhaust. All right, we'll cover the whole bait in aluminum. I've already base coated it a couple days ago. It's been sitting here in the booth waiting for me to get around to uh, making a video. It's definitely going to take a few coats. You can't tell. It's barely any on there right now what i'll do is i'll do a quick heat set and i'll throw some more uh, aluminum on this and uh, i'll come back when she's coated and we'll move on to uh, the wrap okay i finished covering the bait in uh, createx wicked aluminum i'm not sure if you could really pick this up on camera but she's She's looking like a piece of metal right now. Uh, when I move my hand, my lights are just really bright and the camera doesn't pick it up. But what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna go ahead and wrap the bait in this material here. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys at home watching have grown out of a old pair of swimming trunks. So cut the insides out, make a good template or a stencil. Eat too much tasty cakes, you grow out of everything. So go snatch up a pair, I'm sure your wife won't care. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and we'll be back. All right, we're back. Got her all wrapped up in that material. And what we're gonna do is take a, a blue, a Createx blue, a wicked blue, we're going to go over the back, we're going to go over the shoulders and down towards the lateral line, maybe past the lateral line on both sides. And we want to try to avoid the cheeks. Quick heat set. It doesn't matter if you get any on the cheeks. I know it's kind of hard to avoid. Quick heat set. So you want this kind of dark towards the back and shoulders, a little light down by the lateral line. But you could always lighten that up in the end. All right. Another quick heat set and we'll pull this wrap off and we'll get on to the next step. Yeah, I figured you guys might wanna see the wrap come off. So we'll just take the wrap off and then move on. Oh, that's some tape stuck on it now. A little darker on this side, but that's okay. You can always lighten that up with more silver. I just might do that. That's what it should look like with the wrap. Next step is a transparent blue. We're going to go over that. And then after the transparent blue, we'll darken the back up. And then we'll move on to the final steps. All 
All right, pull the uh, aluminum back out. I got a little bit of blue on the belly with my fingers. So always make sure your fingers are dry or your glove is dry and your wrap is completely dry. The wrap was good, but I went ahead and got blue on the belly. So I'm gonna go hit that a couple times. It's gonna take a few coats because it's fairly thin and transparent. So I'll fix that. And then when I come back, we'll be dripping the uh, the transparent blue over the back. Okay, folks, I lied. We're gonna skip that uh, transparent blue and make that our very last step. Right now is we're gonna hit the chin with some yellow, and we're gonna hit the throat with some yellow, and then go over it right here with a little bit of red, and then we'll go from there. We get a little bit up towards the cheeks too if we want. I want to hit that with some gold also, very, very end. Let some air hit it to dry it up a little bit. We'll pull it back so I can take a better look at it. A little bit more yellow. And this is a golden yellow, a Createx golden yellow. All right, that's all we want. Pull her out and get a better look at her. See if I got it even on both sides. I'm sure, if you've seen my other videos, you know I have uh, vision problems. So, but I like doing this, and I'm not gonna let the vision hold me back until I can't. I'm gonna keep on doing it until I can't do it no more. I guess keeps me sane. All right, I'm gonna switch colors. We'll switch it to red. And I'll hit that throat and we'll move on to uh, the final steps. All right, we're back. We're just gonna hit the throat with a little bit of red and aim, on, aim to your tape and then work your way up to the throat. We don't want much. That's all I'm giving her right there. That's all I'm giving her. Sorry, I wasted you guys 10 seconds right there. Let me clean this uh, airbrush out and we'll hit the back with that transparent blue, then a little bit of gold on the sides of the cheeks. We'll darken up that back and I'll think about putting uh, fins on her. Okay, we're back with some transparent blue and we're gonna go over the pattern we put on the back. Try not to spray directly on your chin. We wanna keep that as yellow as possible. And that a little bit of yellow that's on the cheeks or under the eyes, it should turn a little green because we're gonna drop down on it and uh, gives a nice effect when you put the eyes in. The light coats are transparent. Air dry it. flip her over and hit her from this way. 
I'm gonna angle the bait like this and try to shoot towards the shoulders. Not directly on it. We wanna try to keep that fade. There we go. Hope these guys can see that. that a air compressor kick off I'm running a two gallon air compressor she kicks on when she drops to 90 pounds of pressure and she'll run for 15 seconds to get her completely back up That looks good to me. Alright. Do is add some black to the back. Well some some blue mixed with black. I want it a kind of a dark blue and I'm gonna do a thin blaze right down the back. I like it thin gives us some I think it gives it more depth it gives the appearance of a, a pointier back instead of a big rounded back like this bad boy has all right let me clean this paint out and I'll be back all right we're back we're gonna hit that thin blaze down the back I switched to my taller helping hands to try to get a better shot so is it gonna work I don't know because this is muscle memory here folks because I'm my eyes are too far away from this bait to see what I got going on all right let me look at it all right corner of my eye says it looks okay you see how that thin blaze gives it a more of a a thinner back it doesn't look so round anymore I'm darken up just a little bit a little bit more by the way this is like a half a drop of black mixed with four drops of opaque blue and what I may do I may hit it with some more blue over top of that. It's looking a little dark. And I can't tell if I'm straight over the nose or not. Now you don't have to keep your blaze this thin. You can back off with the brush. Back off a little further with the brush and widen your spine if you want. Oh, now that's too much. Holy crap. Uh, that's what I get for trying to play on camera. But hey, as long as you got a bunch of paint and some time, you can fix it. What I'll do is dump out this color I got in here now. We'll do this on camera real quick. All right, I just emptied the clip on a piece of paper here. I'm going to go with some thinner. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think that was maybe like six drops of thinner. Three drops of opaque blue. And let's see if we can fix my mistake. I'm going to blame it on you guys watching. It's all your fault. I'm just 
don't want it to look so black. There we go. I can see some blue shining out of that. Maybe you guys can't. But I can see some blue. I'm going to take it off here. Quick heat set. all I'm doing no more that's what I get We're starting a YouTube channel a blind guy trying to paint how about that What I'll do now is I'll add a little bit of gold to the cheeks, put some eyes in it, and maybe do some fins. But uh, let me mix this color up. This gold will hit the cheeks, and I'll think about the fins. All right, we're back with some gold. I'm going to hit the cheeks a little bit. too much that's it you probably can't see it on camera but I can see a little sheen to it that's it no more I'll play around on camera I'll ruin the bait which I kind of went too dark in that back but to me She's still a winner. You can see that cheek shine or not. I put it this way. If you can't see it, that means it's reflecting pretty good off this light. So that gold is popping. All right. I'm going to get ready for some fins and some eyes. And uh, we'll show you what she looks like after clear coat. If you watch for this long, thank you for watching. And subscribe, please. All right, we'll be back after clear coat.